Our earliest childhood memories hold on to great football plays that we achieved. That very first touchdown that you made when you ran past your father, the longest kick you ever made, the joy of wearing your first uniform. But is youth football taught right? This is why football in America has been around for 124 years from Rutgers versus Princeton the game to your latest Red Wing victory. The main concern about this sport though is, should the youth of America be able to play this physical sport? Coach Lou Tagliari, a successful Hoboken High School football coach who has led his team to nine state championships, believes in the character building, team bonding, and leadership skills of Pop Warner football. Pop Warner football absolutely existed when I was a child. I played Pop Warner football since I was seven years old. Um, uh, I was a quarterback when I first started out, and then as I progressed later on in my career, I moved to the defensive side of the ball. Should young children play football? Absolutely. Football parallels life. They, they, they can learn a lot of the different life skills by playing football. Um, uh, for instance, you know, you, you get in, well, whatever you put into something, you're going to get out of something. Okay? In football, if you do something wrong, you're penalized for it. Okay? Well, in a workforce, if you do something wrong, you're penalized for it. So, you know, basically, it parallels human life. Okay, and I, I personally think it's the best taught subject in America today. What are some great advantages about football? Well, like I said, there, there are rules and regulations to the game of football, okay? If you don't take time, you know, to get your body, okay, and mind in shape, okay, you can fail in a lot of different aspects of life. Well, football installs that in, in young kids right away, okay? And, uh, and they say, you know, it's just like, you know, uh, it, it carries over from school. About to head to class, so uh, get ready to uh, learn some. So <laughs> I'm excited. It's one of my business management classes. That was taught that week. The same thing with football. You practice in five days for that one special day, okay? And if you win the game, we know the test was passed. Would you let your kids play pop water football? I have a nine year old son that plays football, absolutely. Uh, if the coaches are qualified and trained, Okay, and know about all different uh, aspects of the game and the safety aspects of the game. I have no problem with, with my child now. playing football. Just see what you're hitting. Thank you. Thank see you. what you're hitting. On the other side of the beat, there are parents of youngsters who think that they shouldn't be allowed to play because of all the risks and injuries that follow with this dangerous sport. Michelle McGreevy is one of those concerned parents. What are your feelings about Pop Warner football? So my understanding of Pop Warner football is that it's played with the same level of aggression as high school football. And I think that for really little kids to be involved in a contact sport like that, where they could sustain head injuries, not to mention damage to their knees, to their spinal cord, it's really too much. The young brain is developing. You know that brains don't develop completely until people are in their 20s. So there's a lot of cognitive damage that could be done at that time. And successive brain injuries, concussions, you know, build over time. I've read articles about football players who in their 40s and 50s already have dementia and signs of Alzheimer's because of the damage to their brains. These players come down with dementia and then Alzheimer's and then they're gone. I'm really wondering if every single football player doesn't have this. So I think it's really unsafe for small children to be playing such an aggressive and violent sport. Are there any alternatives to making football safer? Well, if the game, I don't know, if it were played in a different way, isn't there some kind of other football called flag football where they just don't have the impact, they just kind of touch each other? Would you let your kids play Pop Warner football? No, I wouldn't. I just feel like there's too much risk. As it happens, my children aren't interested in that kind of act physical activity anyway. They tend to go more for like the rollerblading, the bicycling, swimming. They haven't really wanted to play team sports. But if they did, I really would have, I would have a hard time saying yes, because I really feel like there's too much at risk for a young person um, to um, damage their body, their mind, and the rest of their lives. Are you concerned with the safeties of rollerblading and bicycling? Sure, but my kids wear helmets and they don't ride in the street. And um, 
With rollerblading, they wear the protective equipment on the knees and the elbows, and the worst that I've seen happen to them is um, a scrape. They're not going to be in a kind of situation where somebody is running toward them with all their might, trying to knock them over or trying to hit them. Tariq Ali Felton is the current linebacker for the Hoboken Red Wings. He has experienced youth football for most of his childhood. At first, he didn't want to play, but then his mother suggested that it would be better use of his time. So, I heard that you used to play Pop Warner football. How do you feel about Pop Warner football when you play? When I first played, I didn't like it because you had to, um, it was too much contact. But I was forced by my mother to play because she didn't want me outside too much with my friends. Okay, now, was it exciting for you? No, not really at first. Now it is because I, I like the intensity it brings. But and when I first started youth football, I didn't like it. Did you like the experience of it? Um, not really. Not really. I, I really didn't like the experience of the football because of youth football because they made they made us hit each other a lot. And again, I really didn't like to be in too much contact with people when I was young. But now I like it. I like the experience of it. All right, so up to this day, do you enjoy football? Yes, I, I love football. I like the um, I like the intensity it brings, especially in high school. Um, I love the bond of a football team. Um, I just love it. Do you want to pursue a football career in college? Yeah, I want to. Um, I feel like I have the ability to play for, um college football. As we suffer the injuries that became scratches and scars, we learn how to collaborate with the team and how to deal with many people who line up to knock us down and as we stand back up.